Christmas Day as well as some wind. Okay, Josh Bell, our film critic, back with the Bell Breakdown number two because we've got many uh, movies coming out this weekend, also Christmas Day. Now, this one, Bumblebee, it's a Transformer series spinoff. Yes. And I think I bought Bumblebee for my godson at one point. Right, it's a very popular Transformers mm -hmm. character, and this is sort of a prequel. It's actually set in 1987. Mm -hmm. uh, stars Haley Steinfeld as this uh, teenage girl, kind of a tomboy misfit. Mm -hmm. And we've got Bumblebee the Transformer, who is fleeing Cybertron, and you don't really need to know all the Transformers backstory for this movie, which is one of the good things about okay. it. Um, but he ends up crash landing on Earth, and she Thank discovers him in the form of a Volkswagen Beetle, and the evil Decepticons are after him. But it's actually mostly kind of a coming-of-age story uh, about this teenage character and her bonding with Bumblebee who uh, his whole deal is he can't speak and he speaks in like radio broadcasts so he's kind of a cute character this one is a little more kid-friendly than the loud annoying uh, intense Michael Bay Transformers mm -hmm. movies uh, it's got a kind of an E.T. or Iron Giant feel to it and okay. it's sweet and pleasant I think those Michael Bay movies are so terrible that there's really nowhere to go but up uh, with the Transformers <laughs> movies yeah. and so even even though this is, has a lot of cliches and is kind of predictable, it's got a sweet performance from Haley Steinfeld, and it's got a, a, a nice, uh, again, kind of family-friendly tone to it, and uh, it's pleasant to watch. So it's an improvement as far as the Transformers movies go. Yeah, because I really didn't think Transformers were still a thing, but they are apparently. They are definitely still okay. a thing, uh, <laughs> but they're going in a new direction, which I think is a positive thing for right. this franchise. All right, I like that it's a little bit on the softer side, yeah, a little bit yeah. ET-ish. It works best for it. Okay, let's talk about Jennifer Lopez. She's in a new movie. I feel like she's doing everything lately. A romantic comedy, but you're saying it's not so romantic, really. It's called Second Act. Yeah, it's being marketed as like her return to romantic comedies, but really the romance element of this movie is pretty minor. Mm -hmm. uh, she plays a woman who is a uh, retail store uh, assistant manager, never went to college and feels like her career has stalled, and so uh, she kind of fakes a uh, resume and a whole social media presence and ends up uh, bluffing her way into this job at a big cosmetics company and is she going to be found out uh, but of course she's Jennifer Lopez so she does everything wonderfully yeah. and uh, Milo Ventimiglia from This Is Us plays her boyfriend and they have kind of a smaller subplot about they break up and are they going to get back together but this really isn't a romantic comedy in the sense that I think other JLo movies that people remember like Made in Manhattan or The Backup Plan are uh, still very predictable very cliche uh, not particularly well written, really strangely focused on moisturizer. There's okay. a lot about developing well, a new line of moisturizer She in this has good movie. skin, Jennifer She Lopez. does. <laughs> uh, yeah, but okay. this is pretty forgettable. I think it's going to get lost in the Christmas rush. Okay, about 20 seconds, Vice. Um, a lot of people looking forward to this. What's this about? Uh, yeah, this is a b satirical biopic about uh, Dick Cheney starring Christian Bale. Pretty unrecognizable here playing Dick Cheney. Oh, wow. uh, from Adam McKay who made The Big Short, so it has that same kind of comedic tone to it. I don't think it works as well here. Um, they don't really get insights into Dick Cheney. I think this movie is more uh, kind of making a lot of recriminations, uh, but not in a comedic way or not really in an effective comedic way as much as The Big Short did. So okay. it's ambitious um, marrying the satire with the political comment. I don't think it entirely works, though. All right. Interesting. Love your take, Josh Bell. Thank and you. Uh, have a great Christmas. We'll you see you too. next Friday. Yes, sounds good. All right. Stay with us.